Hello, I'm Rob Dilla with DocWire News. We're joined today by Elaine Jaquette. She is the Chief Scientific Officer at biotechnology company Jellisys, uh, makers of an FDA-cleared weight management pro uh, product for adults who are overweight or obese, and we'll be discussing that product today. Elaine, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So talk to us a little bit about uh, Plenity. That is the, the name brand of the product. Uh, can you delve into how it works and, and why it's so effective? Yep. So Planity is the first and only super absorbent hydrogel that is entirely made of naturally derived um, ingredients. And it's basically made of cellulose, cellulose that you can find in vegetables and lettuce. And it's cross-linked with citric acid that you can find in fruits and, and lemons, for example. Because of that, it's also the only hydrogel that, been key, that can be given orally uh, for a long period of time. And it is FDA cleared for um, weight management uh, for patients with a BMI as low as a, a 25 kilogram per meter square, meaning uh, for any patient, any adults uh, with overweight uh, or obesity with or without uh, comorbidities. So that's um, Plenity, the super absorbent hydrogel. And let me explain a little bit of what is a hydrogel. So a hydrogel is a material, a three-dimensional material that is able to absorb liquid or water. And it's super absorbent because actually it's able to absorb 100 times its weight in water. Now the hydrogel is administered as a capsule and uh, when capsule opens up in the stomach, um, it releases thousands of indi individual small super absorbent hydrogel particles, each of them having the ability to expand by absorbing water and then forming these 3D, and I, I like to describe them, visually see them as beads, beads that are filled with water. And these beads basically mixed homogeneously with the meal um, because you take plenty before lunch and dinner. So the capsule opens up, release the hydrogel particles and mix with the meal and it increased the, the volume, the size of the meal. It also um, changed the texture of the meal, giving it more of a solid um, texture and thicker texture all of which by increasing the size without adding any calories, give the patient a, a sense of fullness sooner and they feel full while eating less. Now, while the meal will be liquefied, these beads will keep their 3D forms, their bead form throughout the digestive system and throughout the small intestine. And then people tell us how they also feel full between meals. So decreasing, you know, the snacking, the need of um, snacking. So this is um, in part the mechanism um, for how Plenity works and how it leads to weight loss. And talk about okay. the, the uh, given the uh, the obesity uh, epidemic in America, how important is is a product like Plenity? Yeah, I, I Rob, I've been in the obesity field for. 25 plus uh, years, I, I started in uh, co-authoring the NIH guidelines in 1998. I have seen so many uh, products being launched for uh, weight loss and weight management. A uh, lot of pharmacotherapies, I mean, I would say a lot, there's, there, compared to the diabetes field, there's a very small number of products that are FDA approved. Um, and unfortunately, um, they have... Um, a similar efficacy, about 40 to 60% of um, uh, drugs will, or if you take the, the pharmacotherapy, 40 to 60% of patients are able to achieve 5% weight loss in six months to a year. But it comes at a price of safety. And I think that's been um, the, one of the major barrier to um, treating obesity is that pharmacotherapy may give you some clinically meaningful weight loss, but at the price of significant risk. Um, the beauty, I think, and one of the uniqueness of Plenity is its safety. So it's a product that is not absorbed 
It's not metabolized. It doesn't act on your on receptors of the central nervous system. It's really um, working through your gut to um, give you that sense of fullness. And it is made of non-synthetic products. It's, it's not a stimulant. It's not habit-forming. Um, so I think it provides a very unique uh, offering for helping uh, patients who are struggling with weight management and to be able to do it safely. Okay. Great. I wanted to talk about a specific uh, poster presentation that's being presented at Obesity Week 2020. It's uh, called Evaluating the Interaction of an Oral Superabsorbent Hydrogel with uh, Alcohol and, uh, and Acidic Beverages. Can you talk to us about the, the background of this study as well as the, the methodology and the findings of it? Yes. So we actually um, get a lot of the questions related to can I, you know, uh, have a glass of wine <clears throat> while I'm taking Plenity. And I think the question arises because the way Plenity um, should be administered is you take the capsules with two glasses of water 20 minutes before lunch and dinner. And you take it with water so that you were, we want to make sure that there's enough fluid so that the hydrogel particles have enough water around to be able to absorb and form these beads. Um, once fully hydrated though, whether you have a glass of wine or um, a gin and tonic uh, or um, a soda or an orange juice, um, there's, there's no problem, and this is what our study basically was showing. But we were getting a lot of questions of, while I am on plenity, should I be drinking water only? Am I allowed to drink something else? So this study was done to see whether the uh, mechanical properties of the uh, hydrogel was changing at all in the presence of other beverages that may have a different pH, that may have a different alcohol content. So uh, we basically tested the, um, um, the mechanical properties of the hydrogel in the presence of either red wine, um, rum, uh, Coca-Cola, uh, orange juice, and that was compared to water, and found that there was really no difference in its ability, to, its capacity to hydrate, um, or its um, firmness, what we call elasticity. We also decided to look at what if it's administered with a standardized meal, and we actually used a Big Mac as the standardized meal. So mixing the hydrated um, uh, plenity, the hydrogel, with um, the content of a Big Mac, which changes the pH, and with the different beverages that we selected, either red wine, rum, uh, Coca-Cola, orange juice. And again, we saw no difference in terms of uh, the mechanical property, which then led us to the conclusion that we can um, say, uh, once you've taken your plenity with the two glasses of water, um, you can during the meal have a beverage um, of your choice. You're not restricted to only uh, drink water. Now, we also do um, want to make sure that you keep in mind that, you know, a glass of water, a glass of um, red wine, for example, is about 150 calories. Um, if you're having a margarita, it's about 300 plus uh, calories. So though, be mindful um, that picking a different uh, beverage uh, may increase your uh, calories. Um, so it would be preferable to uh, pick a beverage that is low in calorie. And this that makes sense. In this particular study, did it have any, uh, did it have any limitations? Um, well, it is uh, in vitro um, study, so we use simulated gastric fluid, um, you know, we, we um, uh, uh, not chewed, but uh, break, broke down a Big Mac, um, so it's not the perfect uh, real life, but we really also have no indication from our clinical trial where we know patients didn't drink water the entire six months period of our pivotal trial, that there was, um, you know, no significant difference in efficacy. 
And what would you say is the main takeaway from the study and, and overall the, the implications for, for people who might be uh, overweight and or, or, or obese? Yeah, so I think Plenity is, is a great option for people who are struggling with uh, losing weight or managing their weight. Um, it should be taken as directed, meaning with two glasses of water, 20 to 30 minutes before lunch and dinner. But if you do want to enjoy um, a different beverage during uh, lunch or dinner, might be a, um, a glass of wine or uh, a diet soda, um, we know that it won't interact with the um, efficacy of the safety of the product. And do you have anything else to add? No, thank you very much for the opportunity. Enjoy um, the Obesity Week. Um, I know I've already logged in for my sessions today, so it's a great, um, it's a great week. Very well. We really appreciate your time, Elaine. Thank you, Rob. All right, that was Elaine Chiquette with uh, Jealousis. I'm Rob Dillard with Doc Wire News. Have a great day, everybody.